Hello everyone, my name's Vicki Conley and I'm a children's author and I'm out in the Australian bush with my friend Puggle to read you my story, Little Puggle Song, illustrated by Ellen Magison and written by myself, published by New Frontier Publishing. Little Puggle Song. Puggle had always wanted to sing, but when he tried, no sound came out. I wish I had my own sound like all the other animals, said Puggle. But Puggle knew that echidnas could not sing. Little Blue's song was whispery like the wind. Fantail peeped like a bush mouse. Fancy Cress had a voice that cracked like lightning. High up in the trees, where the puffs of water were as big as pom-poms, lived Brown Feather. Brown Feather's laughter galloped through the gum leaves. When Brown Feather sang, everyone in the bush stood still, especially Puggle. One day, when the sweet gum blossoms were in full bloom, Brown Feather gathered everyone together to sing. Tweet, tweet! Little Blue's song floated through the bush. Peep, peep. Fantail's tune squeaked and hopped from the leaves. A rock, a rock. Fancy Crest's shriek echoed across the sky. Little Grey and Longtail wanted to join too. But you can't sing, said Brown Feather. Grunt, 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 said Little Grey. Click, 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 said Longtail. That's not really singing. Brown Feather ruffled her feathers. But I suppose you can stay. Feeling brave, Puggle asked Brown Feather if he could join too. But you can't even make a sound, said Brown Feather. My song must be somewhere, said Puggle looking at his tummy. He sucked in air, he pushed out his tummy, he threw back his head, but still no sound came out. Silly me, said Puggle. Everybody knows that echidnas cannot sing. The next day, Brown Feather hopped onto the tree stump. Mr. and Mrs. Emu will soon hatch their chicks. They'd like us to sing a welcome song. Puggle's heart raced. He longed to be a part of something special. If only he could make a sound. He stretched his lips. He wiggled his tongue. He opened his mouth wide. Puff was all that came out. Each day, the choir practiced. Each day, Puggle watched. The birds tweeted and twittered. Long grey clicked. Little grey made tum titty tum noises. Puggle thought it sounded like magic. Soon, there was one night left until the special day. All the animals helped with decorations. Possum hung gum blossoms. Wombat picked red bells. Dingo collected the bottle brush. Magic upon magic, said Puggle. Then from a flurry of feather and fur, Puggle heard, Brown Feather is sick, very sick, what will we do? We can't sing without her, not without her. With small steps, Puggle crept towards the gum blossoms and the red bells and the bottle brushes. I think I can help, said Puggle. I've watched every practice. I know brown feathers every move. No, 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 said the flurry of feather and fur. How can you help? You can't even make a sound. Let me try, said Puggle. Puggle wobbled on his feet. He stretched his arms up to the sky. Then ever so slowly, ever so carefully, 
he reached backwards and pluck from his back. Puggle pulled one of his longest quills. Puggle's baton swished and glided like a butterfly. It dipped, dived and danced. With every step, with every sweep of his baton, Puggle's eyes grew brilliant, bigger, brighter. Then bursting out through the treetops came Tweet, tweet, peep, peep, a rock, a rock. Click, 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 tum, diddy, tum. The song hopped through the wattle pom-poms. It echoed among the sweet gum blossoms and it floated high up into the sky. And at a nest, not so far away, sat Mr. and Mrs. Enu. As they watched over their eggs, they hummed along to the most magical song they had ever heard. Thank you. Bye-bye.